you're just even taller than I thought you were going to be. Well, it... You're magnificent. Yes, you are. Uh, well, who am I? Going to be? <laughs> <laughs> just a genuine six for six. You <laughs> look so great. Oh, thank you. It's you look great. You've lost so much weight. You look amazing. Well, I've stabilised a bit. It's just the joy of running around after a little one. I haven't got time to eat. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Know all about it. That's very, very true. Well, it was the male body stories campaign, of course. Wasn't yes. it? Well, how much did you lose at that point? I'd lost. Uh, I got down to twenty five stone and it's stabilised about that. So, yeah. uh, but, uh, oh, yeah, thank you for that. What were you before, though? How much did you At my lose? heaviest, I was 29 and a half stone. Oh, right, mm. so why, why? Yeah, it's, amazing. Yeah, um, a bit too much. And one of the things I find now is, um, while I'm tolerably fit, you get to the end of the evening now, you're shattered. Yeah. So mm. no I feel I need to lose a bit more <laughs> weight just to stay a bit more active. Yeah. Oh, you're... Constantly on the go, Mark. Yeah. I mean, you, with the chase, is it's taken over the world. In fact, I remember being in America once and there were yeah. billboards of you everywhere. <laughs> I thought, like, that is just a fantastic thing. Even just hearing the music there, you instantly know it's the chase. It's kind of what is on the telly at tea time and we've all become so sort of familiar yeah. with it and with you because of it. But that doesn't involve you being away all of the time. You're all well, over the world constantly. Well, I've worked out that I've got one more free Monday between now and Christmas. I'm... Oh, working God. all the time. Um, I've got a great agent in David Hahn. Thank you very much. Keeps me busy, so nice and earning. But this <laughs> way I can categorically confirm I am not doing The Jungle this year because I'm busy filming both The Chase UK and The Chase Australia in November wow. and December. Oh, but you would do it, though. So, how do you balance oh, that I can't thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's not really like next year, is it? <laughs> your, Speak your, to my agent. Yeah. Your, your <laughs> best mate Anne's done it, though, hasn't she? She must have uh, yeah. had yeah. a few stories She did well, didn't it? Yes, yeah, she has, and she prefaced each one of them. Whatever you do, don't tell anybody else. But, yeah, as you may have no, no, we'd obviously with her Asperger's, both David and I thought the first 48 hours are going to be the worst, and they were, and she really struggled. But fortunately, the other 10 were so supportive. Yeah, she had a great in. year, didn't we she? We all loved yeah, her. We loved it, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And as you see, she doesn't have that filter. She says it as it is. Mm. Yeah. yeah, which we loved her for. She still said she she's was... never going back, though. No, I don't blame her. <laughs> I don't blame her. We're talking about being away, though, Mark, and it obviously does take its toll on home life. You say yeah. about having a little one. I know what that's like. I mean, it's just tough when you're not around. And sadly, there were headlines off the back of that recently mm. about marriage and what home life was like and what was happening in your relationship. Where are you at now? How, how do you feel about everything? What is home life? Well, like a lot of relationships, you go for a rough patch and our absolute priority is our son and we're working our way as best we can through it. But um, we've always tried to be quite private. Um, we've never done the glossy magazines. Um, a tabloid newspaper offers a sum of money to give them exclusive and we respectfully declined. You know, it, it's it's not what we do. So mm. we're, they, you won't find a picture of our son anywhere on the um, internet because it's been quite a deliberate decision, nor am I going to name him again. If he wants to, when he's old enough, uh, have a social media presence, that's up to him, but I'm not going to do it for him. No. You've got to sort of embarrass your children at some point. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, but I think I should embarrass him when he's old enough to embarrass me back. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But it is, it's, it's unfortunately something that you have to put up with when you're in the public eye, isn't it? You will mm. see personal life in a newspaper every so often. Yeah, it's... You get why they do it. At the same time, I'm very conscious coming on a show like this. I know, I, part of the ITV family, this is the only interview I'm doing, and I love coming here. It's great fun doing it. The flip side is, you know there will be half a dozen or so tabloid journalists who will of lift course, a story off of the back course, of this, yeah. and sometimes they don't quite get it right. But what you're saying <laughs> is that your wife and you are working through and, um, and yeah. all, all is good and you're still together and... There you go. There you go. <laughs> doing the best you can. Now, we all yeah. Yeah. well, that's despite all the time that yeah. you have to spend away from home as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which we're not You've unusual. got Skype, haven't you? Got WhatsApp. You've got all yeah. that. Exactly. You can stay yeah. in contact. Now, the most important thing. What do you want to know about the chase? Well, <laughs> did you win last night at the TV Choice Awards? <laughs> what do you want to know about the chase? <laughs> well, I do know though you you tried to recruit a few uh, names yeah. last night, yeah. didn't you, for yeah. the celeb version? The, the, the producers used me like bait, effectively. <laughs> I kept being stopped. Saying, We'd love to go on the celebrity chase. At which point I'm going. Yeah, but it's oh, terrifying yeah. when you do do it. Yeah. The celebrity chase. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you I've do it? it? Yeah, yes, I did. Really scary. I did quite well. I'll have you know. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's um, no, all of those shows. It's very easy to sit at home, and I've done it the same, and go, oh, I can't believe they didn't get that right. Oh, I can't believe. And when you're on there, it's a different ball game, isn't it? Mm. You know, it's really, it's really well, quite pro terrifying. Probably everyone thinks they could sit here and do this, but actually, when the pressure's on, and you're not used to it, you suddenly go. Uh, yeah. you know, yeah. Well, Janice Street Porter was on, wasn't she? In fact, you'd like her to come back on again. We'd love to, because I know how smart Janet is, and she was always gutted she didn't do very well. And I know your colleague Andrea keeps going on that she beat me a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but fair play, she won. Do you ever get a moment where you walk out and think, oh, I'm not feeling it today? Do you feel like you're under pressure ever, or do you just are you so knowledgeable and you're just so well read that the confidence is always there? It. It is, but then it's weird. It's happened a few times where suddenly you walk out one day and you're going, who switched the pause button on my mm -hmm. brain? Yeah. And you can't yeah. explain why. It just that must it be happens. terrifying. I get that every day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I remember Anne saying about there being a community of quiz masters. Yeah. Mm. So you do all get together and you sort of almost test each other all of the time yeah. to just keep on top of everything yeah. because there's a lot to know. Well, I mean, I couldn't do it because you know, it was my only free day and I had to be at home. But um, on Saturday, my colleague Paul Sinner won the British Quiz Championships. Oh, did he? So he is the champion quiz. Yeah. 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 One of your, one of you lot in. Um, celebrity Master Chef at the moment. Um, yes, Jenny Ryan. Jenny, oh, yeah. Yeah. we're getting everywhere. Talk of, talking of getting yeah. everywhere, um, obviously, it, you know, Strictly season starts and and, and stuff. Is that something you would do, or would there be a sort of height problem because you're very, very, very tall? Um, yeah, and one of the choreographers I worked with at uh, Panto at uh, uh, Christmas oh, um, um, said, uh, the problem is, Mark, since Natalie Lowe's retired, you're a foot tall than every other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, may a quick shout-out to my Panto wife, Kate Salmon, who's just got engaged to Ryan, so Aww. congratulations to them. Very nice, very nice. Listen, it's 13 series. Yes, 10 I years. Mean, that's a lot of questions, isn't mm. it? <laughs> I, we've only just got started. <laughs> well, I have a fear, and it's a bit of a mad fear. I reckon Bradley's going to keep doing it till his son Barney is ready to take <laughs> it. Yeah. Do you think yeah. he's ever going to run out of I smart, Bradley uh, smart Alec introductions? Oh, come on, this is Bradley. I know I'm I know. Like, yeah. I think he's the best game show host in the world. So do I. Oh, yeah. He's really a brilliant that. actor. Yes. And manages to run both careers parallel, and there's not many people able to do that. He's the best, mm. isn't he? Thank you so much, Mark. You are... We love you on the chase. You know. The beast. Mark Levesque, everybody. Thank you very much.